This is Grandmaster Melly Mel here with Grandmaster Fitness at the picturesque Bronx Community College here for the 35th annual Bronx Community College Hall of Fame 10K Run. Take it away, y'all. Master Melly Mel here with Grandmaster Fitness talking to Eunice and Ficado. This gentleman here came in second place. He came in fourth place. And me and him came in 352nd place out of 353 people. Give, give, give us a round of applause. <laughs> I ran this race the first 22 years. And for a couple of years, I was busy in Washington. I didn't run it. Came back, ran the 5K today. Forgot that hill coming right up to the college. That hill is tough. But the message here is to have fun, to meet people I haven't seen for a while, and to remind folks that health and fitness is a good thing. And it's very cheap. Something you can do, just buy a pair of sneakers, get a t-shirt, a pair of shorts, and go running. Walk first, then walk faster, then run, you love it. And Tanya and David have a very interesting story. Tanya, could you please elaborate on the... Uh... <laughs> well, this is my first uh, 10K, but our um, first run together was the Hunts Point Hustle 5K that we ran the day after our wedding. And actually this year, we're going to be running it on the day of our one year anniversary. One year anniversary. So it was a good, good run. Martin Cleaning, was you uh, in the race today? Yes. And uh, how did you do? You did the 5K? How, how did you do? No, I did two miles. You did but two to miles. me... Since I have asthma, it's very long. It's like 10 miles for me. This man is deserving of everybody's applause. This young man persevered. He tried. He didn't let the asthma get the best of him. And I have bronchitis myself, and I still try to train and work out and stay healthy. And you keep up the good work, my man. I applaud you. We had the aftermath of the Bronx Community College Hall of Fame 10K run. And we're here with the creator of that run. This gentleman right here was the, the president of this college and, and this Hall of Fame right here, this the, the unforgettable. I was up all night just thinking that I was gonna interview this great man, Dr. Roscoe Brown, ladies and gentlemen. What is the Hall of Fame for Great Americans at the Bronx Community College? Well, the Hall of Fame for Great Americans was created in 1900 by the then president of NYU to honor the people who made America great. It was the authors, it was the scientists, it was the political leaders, the military leaders. One of the problems, though, is that because the elections were done in the early 1920s, they didn't have any African Americans. There are only two African Americans here, George Washington Carver and Booker D. Washington. Uh, the university ran out of resources to continue the elections. I helped to get Franklin Roosevelt's bust in here, who was the last person elected. I would hope at some point in time, this Hall of Fame expands so they can include people like Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, Mr. Brown, I'd like to ask you, what do you think is the key to longevity? The key to longevity is to be active as long as you can be active. Do something every day. Your fitness, your mental fitness, your physical fitness, and your attitude. Attitude is important, but you gotta go more than attitude, you gotta do something, you gotta move. When you were in the, uh, the Air Force with the Tuskegee Airmen, was it any kind of physical training that y'all went through just to, you know, keep y'all able to fly planes and keep y'all fit to do, to do uh, you know, all the aviation and, and things? Well, the physical training was really extreme. Uh, we did uh, push-ups, sit-ups, running, relays. Uh, we were the forerunners of the Navy SEALs. Can't say no more than that, this is Melly Mel with the great Dr. Roscoe Brown right here yeah, right. In, the, in the America's Hall of Fame, one of the first Hall of Fames in the world, right here at Bronx Community College, saying Bronx Strong. 